Yo, what's up everyone? Shazza here. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily make a color correction on After Effects. So that's really easy, let's start it right now. So you just need to add some film. So it will be in Magic Bullet Suite. So you will need Suite and Looks for this. So you're just going to put this into video mode. Then you need to choose one that you like. You can just tweak with it, like search what you're looking for. I'm going to use this one and this print stock. I'm going to increase the saturation decrease the grain and put the strength to something like 30 so I have like a basic color change for the beginning then you just need to add looks so here it is just click on edit now that you're on looks you just need to go to tools you can add spot exposure chromatic aberration chisel colors use saturation loots curves shoulder and the warm cool so now that you got everything what you can do is start with warm cool for example so if you want to give a cold look you can go to the blue if you want to give a warm look just go to the to the orange red so i'm going to stay like that okay so shoulder is just to make the zones that are too bright matching with the the color so it's not too bright compared to everything then curves you just need to take this part put it a little bit higher and this part lower now to loot you can do whatever you want just try to find what you like i personally use that or polaris i'm going to use polaris and put the strength to 50 for this one use saturation you can put to 5 to have a darker blue and if you want you can put negative 5 to have more cyan blue and then 120 for the saturation increasing the saturation makes the color pop off a lot more so it will give a happier look to the CC no edge cell color you need to make something cool with it because if you make something really weird it will just destroy your color correction so be careful with it so you can increase some colors decrease some other colors so for example let's say I want the blue of the characters dying popping like really hard I can just increase this like that for the blue and I can decrease the orange, yellow and red and this is looking like that. I'm just going to stick with the normal settings and just increase the blue. Then you go to chromatic aberration, you add a little bit like 250 for example. And then spot exposure, you add 010 for example, just a little bit. Then you can close this, now you got pretty much your CC, you're just going to make some little adjustments to it. So. What you can do on this is put some flicker, so from the sapphire plugin, you add the flicker, put the amplitude to 1 and the frequency to like 15. Now what you can add, you can add a photo filter, so photo filter is just going to make everything softer a little bit, you can change the color to whatever you want, if you make custom, but I like this one a lot. So now you can add some color balance. So what it makes is just it allows you to like mess with the colors how you want and it's really good for making CCs so I'm using it. Let's say I want to change it like that. Okay, I think it's good like that. It just changes the color a little bit. Now what you can add is some glint for example. You add S glint to the CC and you put it to 0 0.050 so it will make everything shiny a bit. So this is looking cool. Now you're pretty much done with the CC. You can use, for example, Misfire Vignette. This is looking really cool. If you put the size to 1, the intensity to 30, and you put it above everything, this can give a really cool look because the borders are darker and the middle of the screen is really bright. So this can be really cool. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That was all to make a color correction. Now you just need to mess with the settings. If you want to make something cold, warm, brighter, darker, that's how you want, you need to mess with the settings and just find something that you like. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't put too much colors, because that's going to be ridiculous. Just make something clean, something cool, something that matches with the song. And that's all. Okay, so yeah, see you guys for the next time. It was Shaza. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Peace.